I'm Doug Doyle with The Art of the Story. Reverend Gary Davis was an African-American blues and gospel singer who taught many guitarists the finger-picking style of playing. Some of his students went on to major careers in American roots music. Stephen Grossman was one of his students. Now based in Sparta, New Jersey, he has made it his life's work to pass on Reverend Davis's teachings. WBGO's John Kalish has more. Reverend Gary Davis settled in New York in the 1940s, where he sang on the streets of Harlem and taught at his home. Stephen Grossman was 15 when he started studying with the blind Baptist minister. The year was 1960. I called him up and I said, Reverend Davis, I'd like to have a lesson with you. And he said, no problem. Bring your money, honey. Come on up on Saturday. The lessons often lasted all day. For three years, Grossman went to Reverend Davis's home, a shack in the Bronx. He often brought a tape recorder with him. First 12-string guitar I run across in 1920. No heard tell of one before. What well, were the old Stellas? Yeah. If someone was writing a book about you, Reverend Davis, about the way you played guitar, uh-huh. what would you want them to write about? Well, you see, you got three hands to a guitar and two to a piano. You wouldn't tell them anymore. That's the greatest hit. Two of Davis's best-known songs were covered by a number of best-selling artists. Here's a recording of Davis performing Death Don't Have No Mercy in the mid-1960s. Death don't have no mercy in the land. Among the prominent performers who studied with Reverend Gary Davis are Ry Cooter, Janice Ian, and the Grateful Dead's Bob Weir. Again, Stephen Grossman. There were a lot of people who took one lesson, but there was a handful of us who really spent time with Reverend Davis, personal time. And we were like grandchildren to him. And he treated us with such warmth and such care. You couldn't ask for anything more. The great guitar player David Bromberg remembers a performance of his at a small Greenwich Village club. Stephen Grossman was there with Reverend Davis in the audience when the Reverend got up and started preaching. He stood up and and gave a sermon in the middle of the audience. I can't remember all of it, but it began, I have no children, but I have sons. So the Reverend claimed me and Stefan. It made me feel wonderful. I'm John Kalish. And that's the art of the story. I'm Doug Doyle, WBGO News.